सो लेट स्टार्ट डिस्कसिंग दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ इट से बेताल पच्चीसी इज अ मोबाइल फोन ब्रांड दैट सेल्स अ मोबाइल फोन ईच ऑफ द मॉडल्स ए बी सी डी ई रेस्पेक्टिवली द ब्रांड ऑफर सम डिस्काउंट ऑन ईच ऑफ द मॉडल्स इन द न्यू ईयर सेल एंड स्टिल अर्न प्रॉफिट ऑन ईच ऑफ दम सम एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन इज देयर एंड इट इज अबाउट कॉस्ट प्राइस सेलिंग प्राइस परसेंटेज प्रॉफिट डिस्काउंट एंड मार्क प्राइस एंड बी सी अ लॉट ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन फोर स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिवन राधर ऑन द नेक्स्ट पेज you will see there is more information about this 5 6 7 8 9 so uh, what i have done i have put up all the information on one single page and i made a table there to solve it for you let's go to that page so here is the page which is containing all the information of course the font would be a little smaller but i am sure that you are able to read it so let's start filling it that how do we do it so i have made this table in which a b c d e are representing the products and this is overall here i have cp cost price sp selling price profit percentage discount percentage and the marked price okay let's start the discount percentage on a is 25% more than that of c and the discount percentage on b is 25% less than that of a so discount percentage on a that means this figure here is 25% more than that of c so it is 25% more than this that means if this figure is 4x that figure would be equal to 5x that is 25% more and the discount percentage on b is 25% less than that of a so this figure here is 25% less than 5x now 25% can easily be calculated when you now have uh, numbers uh, i mean which are multiples of 4 so you can always do one thing that rather than taking them as 4x and 5x you can take them as 16x and 20x and you will see that your job would become slightly easy by doing that though you can also take them in decimals 5x minus 25% is 3.75x but i would always suggest that rather than taking fractions avoid them and just take integers i would take this number as 16x this would become 20x and 25% less than that would be equal to 15x so i have these three figures as 16x 15x and 20x let's move on the percentage profit on a and d is 25% more than that on c which is 25% more than the discount percentage on c we already have the discount percentage on c which is 16x so the profit percentage on c is 25% more than 16x so can i say this figure here is 25% more than 16x and 25% more than 16x is 20x and profit percentage of a and d both is 25% more than this 20x so the profit percentage on a is 25% more than 20x is 25x and similarly on d as well it is 25x so till now we are able to work on all these things with one single variable that is x which is the best part of it let's move on from here the total selling price of b d and e is equal to that of c probably i can't use it currently because i do not have these numbers and i don't want to take four more variables right so that is net not advisable so let's uh, keep this statement there itself we'll use it later fourth says the selling price of d is 25% of the marked price of b that too is not uh, useful for us currently so we have used it we have used it but we have not used third or fourth let's come to fifth the overall profit percentage on selling all the models of the phones is 25% so overall profit percentage is given as 25% when the overall percentage is 25% that means sp is 25% more than cp so i can easily assume the cp as 80 and sp as 100 shouldn't we take we be taking a variable over here that must be a question in your mind but one of the numbers can be taken as an absolute value unless and until the question talks about any absolute value you see that in the whole question there is no absolute value mentioned so you can take one of the values as an absolute number and others in terms of variable so i can take cost price as 80 sp automatically comes as 100 because the total profit percentage is 25% so this also we have used we'll move ahead from here the marked prices of b and c are 25% less and more respectively than the total marked price 
of A, D and E. This also we can't use probably right now. So, I am leaving this also over here. The total cost price of A, D and E is 25% more than that of B which is 25% of the total cost price of all the phones taken together which I have. I can probably use it now. So, the cost price of B is 25% of the total cost price of all phones which is 80. So, cost price of B is 25% of 80 that is equal to 20 and the cost price of ADE is 25% more than 20. So, can I say the cost price of ADE is 20 plus 25% of 80. So, 20 plus 25% of uh, uh, 20 that will be equal to 25. So, A, D and E they are making 25. B is 20. So, of course, the only number remaining is C that is 80 minus 20 minus these three numbers which is 25. So, I will have C as 35. I repeat A plus D plus E is equal to 25 for me in cost prices. B is already 20. So, if I subtract 20 and 25, I will get the value of C which is equal to 35 over here. Let us move on from this. So, this statement also has been used. So, I will mark this as well. Let us move ahead from this. The overall profit percentage on selling all the models of phones which we already know is 25 percent. So, this figure we already know is 25 percent. This is 25 percent more as compared to a profit percentage that is 25 percent more than the discount percentage on C and that is 16x. So, 16x is the discount percentage on C. A profit percentage that is 25% more than this is into 1.25 or 5 by 4 whatever you want to write. And 25% more than that is the overall profit percentage which is given as 25%. So, further 5 by 4 of it is 25%. What does it give me? 5 into 5, 25 cancels out with 25. 4 into 4, 16 with 16. So, that gives me x is nothing but 1. x is nothing but 1. So, therefore, I can just remove x from here because actually x is equal to 1. So, now I can write all of them in terms of percentages. This is 25 percent. This is 20 percent. This is 25 percent. This is 20 percent. This is 15 percent and this is 16 percent. This statement also has been used. This statement also has been used. I will move ahead from this now. So, when I move ahead from this, so what do I see? I see that uh, if I talk about C over here, the cost price is equal to 35, the profit percentage is equal to 20 percent, the discount is equal to 16 percent. So, cost price is 35 percent, profit percentage is 20 percent, discount is equal to 16 percent. From there, I can calculate the selling price. 35 plus 20 percent of 35 is the selling price which is 42 and this 42 is after giving a discount of 16 percent. So, 0.84 times of the marked price is equal to 42 that gives me the marked price as 50 itself. That gives me the marked price as 50 itself. I hope all of you are getting my point here. Okay. Similarly, can we calculate a few more things? So, there are some statements which we have not used yet. I will be talking about those as well one by one. But let us move uh, to the last statement. So, the last statement probably is wrongly written over here, but we will be coming to that later. Let us go back to these. The total selling price of B, D and E is equal to that of C. The total selling price of B, D and E is equal to that of C. So, this plus this plus this is equal to that of C that is 42. So, if these three are equal to 42, this is also 42, 42 plus 42 is 84 that makes this as 16 now. 16 is the selling price after a profit of 25 percent. So, I can calculate the cost price from there. It would be 16 divided by 1.25 that makes this as 12.8 right. So, we are able to use it now to find out some of the values rather I can calculate the marked price as well. A 20 percent discount gives me a selling price of 16, marked price must have been 20 over here. Similarly, the next one, the selling price of D is 25 percent of the marked price of B. Selling price of D is this value over here, 
it is 25% of the marked price of V that we uh, currently don't know. So, if this value is equal to 4A, this value is equal to A, right? This is what is trying to say. This value is equal to 4A. So, this value should be equal to A. Selling price of D is 25% of the marked price of B. I have used it. Come to sixth one now. The marked price of B and C are 25% less and more respectively than the total marked price of A, D and E. So, whatever the total marked price of A, D, E is, the marked price of C is 25% more than that. Marked price of C is 25% more than that. And marked price of C is 50. So, can I say the marked price of A, D, E together is such that 25% more than that is 50? Or you can say 5 by 4 times of that is equal to 50. If 5 by 4 times of that is equal to 50, so what is the marked price of A, D, and E? It is 200 divided by 5 or it is equal to 40. Right? It is equal to 40. And the marked price of B is 25%. Less than that 40. If 25% less than that is equal to, uh, sorry, 25% less than 40 is to be taken, that will be equal to 30. So 4a is equal to 30 here. We got the value of 4a as 30. That automatically means that a is equal to 7.5. I will write 30 over here and I would write 7.5 over here. Now, once I have the marked price 30, Discount percentage of 15, at 15% discount of 30 will give me the selling price as 25.5 and you will see that there is a profit of 27.5% over here. Similarly, the selling price is 7.5 over here. If the selling price is 7.5 and there is a profit of 25%, I can calculate the cost price as 6. 6 plus 25% is 7.5. Subtract all of them from 80, you will get E over here. Let's calculate that. 35 plus 20 plus 6 plus 12.5. If I subtract all of them, I will get 6.2 here. Similarly, subtract all of them from 100, you will get this value over here. So, let's check that as well. If I subtract all of them, I get 9 here. On 6.2, there is a profit of 2.8, which is approximately 45.1%. So, I have almost got all the values except these two now. What about these? Here the statement is wrong actually. The statement uh, was, I have probably written it wrong over here. The statement was that the marked price of D is equal to the selling price of E. It is equal to the selling price of E. Selling price of E is 9. So, marked price of this is also equal to 9. So, on 9, there is a discount of 25%. That makes it 7.5. Right. So, any uh, sorry, uh, 9, uh, the selling price is 7.5. So, there is a discount of 1.5 and 1.5 is 16.66% of 9. Very quickly now, we can calculate this mark price as well. As we know, the total mark price of ADE is 40. So, A plus D plus E should be equal to 40. 20 plus 9 is 29. This has to be 11. On 11 rupees, selling price is 9. There is a discount of 2. On 2 over 11 is 18.18 percent. So, that can you can write the total marked price as well as 120 and we can calculate the overall discount percentage as well from this. And once this completes the table, we can easily answer our question. So, what I have done, I have written all these values in the form of a table over here. So, just look at the questions. The percentage discounts offered on how many of the mobile phones of uh, how many models is at least as much as the overall percentage discount offered. How did I get this overall discount percentage? See, overall marked price is 120, overall selling price is 100. So, there is a discount of 20 rupees overall on 120, which is 16.66. So, for how many of them it is at least equal to that or more? So, here it is more, here it is equal and here it is more. So, for three of them, it is greater than or equal. So, the answer for this question is option A, that is E, 3. Next question. The marked price of how many of the models of mobile phones are at least 50% higher than the cost price of the phone? So, if I look at A, is it 50% uh, higher? Yes, it is more than 50% of that. 
it is exactly 50% more it is not 50% more it is exactly 50% more this also is at least 50% more so there are four such models so my answer for this question should be equal to 4 come to question number 9 the cost price of d is what percentage more or less than that of e cost price of d is 6 it is what percentage more than less more or less than that of e it is 6.2 so, 6 is 0.2 less than 6.2. In terms of percentages, it is 1 by 31. See, had it been 1 by 30, it would have been 3.33. So, it is very close to 3.33. So, therefore, I would say my answer is 3.23% less. Okay. Next. What is the percentage profit on E? So, 6.2 is the cost price. 9 is the selling price. So, the profit percentage is 45.16 percent that makes the answer as b 11th what is the ratio of the cost price of e to the marked price of the cost price of e is 6.2 and 6.2 is a multiple of 31 marked price of d which is equal to 9 6.2 is to 9 gives me 31 is to 45 so d option is the right answer for us and the last question what is the discount offered on e we have already calculated that it is 18. 18%. So, C option is the right answer. So, this was one set I would say was which was pretty lengthy, probably could have been avoided in the example.